Hi there. Chances are you have purchased the Vetrex Audio Puck or are interested in buying one. This video will actually tell you what it is and actually how to install it. It's a quick install. You don't have to cut anything or anything like that. No major modifications. It basically is plug and play with very minor uh, work on your part. So let's get to it. First of all, when you receive your puck, it'll come in a box like this. Get this out of the way. You'll notice it'll have tape on it. All you gotta do is peel the tape off all the way around. And once you're done with that, <coughs> you can open your box and you will actually find the daughter board here and the puck here. So this is a dissect packet, dry, dry packet to keep the moisture out of the box during shipment or storage. Take the puck out and lift up the foam underneath to hold it in place. Put the foam back in like so. And you can take this whole block out or just take it out. Now these pins are very delicate and they can break real easy. So take your time when we put it in. So you can lay the puck to the side after we go over this. Basically the, what the puck does is everything that the Vetrex Audio Tap um, standard goes does. Basically it adds stereo output, a true stereo output from the Vectrex. It was always able to do it. It was just never exploited until now. And here's a power indicator, a line out for your stereo or computer speakers, and a Tari Vox input to mix your Tari Vox. There's a stereo and mono switch on the side. It's pretty straightforward. It's a sealed enclosure. It'll sit right beside your Vectrex. I guess if you wanted to, you could peel this off and put uh, Velcro or whatever you want on there and mount it on the side or the back. Uh, I've even had a customer Velcro it inside the machine and hardwired it, but it's your preference, whatever you want to do with it. But it does have a nice green glow in the front. So, if you want the headphone output with a volume control, then the Vetrix Audio Tap uh, standard is probably what you want. Or you can run this into a pair of computer speakers to line out that has a jack in it for headphones. A lot of computer speakers have that jack where you can just run it right out of those. So that will save you a few dollars. And it takes me a little more time to build those too. These are all built to order by hand. <clears throat> It'll come with a manual. It comes with a standard printer, printed manual. It does not come with a deluxe manual like the regular one would. But it is a full color um, booklet, stapled and bound. So, put that to the side. Let's get on with the installation. Basically, when you open your Vectrex, you're going to be taking some screws out. The screws that you're going to be working with are one here, one here, one at the bottom on the right and left, same location. And there's one big one right in the middle, right here. So Make sure you fully take all those out. Like take special note where your focus control is. It's a very delicate place. And for that reason, I have actually included a piece of straw like this so that you may put it on the focus um, knob so that when we put the cover back on, it aligns properly and doesn't bend it and damage it in the process of putting your back back on once you're finished. Now what you need for installation basically is going to be um, a, uh, a small screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, um, something kind of like this. This is all you're going to need. And you need a good light source to work with, something like this. It's very bright or a pair of lighted goggles like these. Headband like jewelers wear. Uh, these really are very handy. It lets you look very closely at what you're doing. <clears throat> Basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull the sound chip out. 
And once we take the sound chip out, we're going to transplant it to here. This board will go toward the front of the machine. The cord comes toward the rear of the machine, just like the power cord does. Pin one is up here. So once we take the chip out, we're going to transplant it into this daughter board. And then we're going to put the daughter board in where the chip once lived. So, bring the Vectrex over here. Now, we're going to take a light, light it up, the area we'll be working with. Also, you want to unplug your XYZ cable, put it to the side so that you have more room to work and see what you're doing. Uh, you might wonder what all these other wires are. This is my. Um, buzz off kit to get rid of the buzz. This is the buzz swarm which actually lets you um, toggle the original buzz back and forth into the machine. Some people like to do that, some don't. I saw one without the switch too. So if you see those wires, they were not there originally. I highly recommend that you do buy one to get rid of the buzz because it makes the sound of the audio puck and that a whole lot cleaner when you don't have to worry about that buzz. Okay, so I'm going to clip my light on so we can see what we're doing here. And there we go. Make sure it's unplugged. Also, a uh, special note, you don't need to be putting your fingers in here, the area here where the high voltage is. Don't inadvertently put your hand back here when you're trying to hold it, because if you do, you might get some high voltage off the tube. Just a word of warning, stay away from that board altogether. You don't need to be near it. The only board we're working with is down here. Now, you'll see your sound chip is right here. Right there. Now, when you pry this up using the flat part of the um, a screwdriver, you'll notice that there is an area between the chip and the socket. Don't go between the socket and the board. That's why the lighting is important because you could pull the pry up the whole socket. This is very easy. All you do is you get, put your um, screwdriver right there in the divot right there. You can see it. A little divot right there. And we'll just prod it with some leverage, like so. This one's already halfway out, but if, you, if it doesn't come all the way out, take, you can take your fingers and place them in there. And you can work your work your hands back and forth and you might have to put your screwdriver on there just a little bit more if you can see it and then pull it up you'll get the idea very quick all right so once we have that chip out let's go back over here to a clear area sometimes the, you'll notice that the legs are going in a, like a 10 degree angle to straighten those out all we got to do is take a flat surface and just kind of rock it over on each side just a little bit so all the pins are bent at the same time. It doesn't take much, just a little bit. Now pin one on this chip is going to be right here, right there where you see that little dot indention and right here where you see the divot here. That's pin one or the front of the machine. Remember I told you the front of the machine on the daughter board is toward the front here and the cord coming out of the back. So we just want to line up the chip like so. And make sure you got both sides lined up into the holes properly. And then you can take your fingers in between these pins and gently push it down like so. Be careful of these pins, like I said. Be very careful. Double, triple check it before we push it down. Now all we're going to do, let's go back to the Vectrex. Get all the wires out of the way so you can see what you're doing. And we're going to line it up and make sure that the pins are actually in the socket. One other thing, if you'll notice, you want the pin to go between the plastic and the inside of that clip right there. You don't want to go on the other side of the clip because it could possibly do that. You want to make sure you go on the inside or the out, outside of that clip actually in the plastic over there. You'll feel it.
So once we put it in, it's easy. You try to line up both chips at the same time. You can get your head down level and make sure you get the light on it really good. You might have to move your light around like I'm doing right now. And line up, make sure you got the legs in the proper order. You don't have one hanging off the socket on the end. That's easy to do because of the depth perception. And once you look like you got your head way down there and you've lined it up and it feels, and you can kind of push on it a little bit and it feels like it wants to go, gently push it in. Don't be rough with it because you could break a leg inside of the uh, socket. That feels pretty good. So just kind of rub it on top like so. There we go. Now, <clears throat> the puck is installed at this point. Now what you're going to deal with is basically the wiring. So the wire is not a big deal at all. Um, it's a thin wire. I made sure it was a nice thin wire. You can run this wire in between the transformer. It's up here. You can go right between there and behind the transformer. Like so. I've got a buzz off kit in there, so it's kind of hard to work it in but once it gets in there like this you can there we go finally <laughs> hard to do with one hand so once you get it in there you can run it out just like that just like this and you can run it in between the case right here or you can run it um, outside the bottom however you like to do it and when you put the case back on, it'll just hang out like this. And then you can set it beside it, Velcro it like I was saying, wherever you want, whatever you want to do with it. And then once you're done, you're ready to go. You can plug in your uh, line out right here. And then plug it into your computer speakers or whatever cable you have, uh, stereo, what have you. Right now it's ready to, to work. And all we gotta do now is we turn on the Vectrex, you'll see it come on. Plug it back in. Plug it back in here. And there we go. Okay. You'll see it has a green light on right here. And it is ready to go. Oh, actually, I forgot to plug the Xbox cable in. Gee, I didn't get a picture. I did that on purpose so that you would know that you might have forgot to put the cable back on. So make sure you get the cable back on and turn it on. And there we go. You're not going to hear a buzz because I have the buzz off kit on, but. Um, ready to go. It's blinking because of the uh, refresh rate on my camera. It doesn't normally blink like that. If I turn the lights off, you can see the nice glow you get off of it. And it is ready to go. Hope you like the video. I hope you like the product when you get it. And that's all I have for this. If you have any questions, you can reach me on the Facebook page for the Buzz Off Kit and VET for gaming, for Vectrex gaming systems, or you, my eBay page, Obtainium Gaming. So, thanks a lot, and until next time.